let's get this going. The next map is actually going to be Slums Search and Destroy. So Slums Search and Destroy was just the map that we saw change everything, Well, pretty much. Now, some of the Americans in the stream chat said, I think that he was saying how I was a little bit biased. Obviously, we had that bet. Yep. Well, I can tell you, I went over to Parasite and I gave him some friendly words of advice on how to play Slums S&D. So, what did you say? I said, <coughs> what you need to do, and I can't believe I said this, the Europeans in the stream chat are going to think I'm biased now. But basically <laughs> what I said was, what you need to do is on the attacking side, it is basically all or nothing. It, it, it's one of those things where you either go all in or yep. you basically lose. I said, get those smoke grenades on, smoke grenade the left hand side, just rush it. Go try and get that bomb down. If you can get the bomb down, you're automatically at an advantage. You force the opposition to play your game in a, in a sense. And what you can do then is you can start juking teams out. You can throw the smoke to the left, go to the right, which is exactly what you said actually in that Freako versus Freako game. So we may well, see, if, if, they, if they listen I, to I my advice, advice. if they, they take their advice. advice, we could see potentially Freako 3-0 this Prophecy team. However, that is a big, big feat. This Prophecy team, such a fantastic lineup. European God Squad, the four highest achieving European players all on one team. I mean, that's just a scary yeah, thought. Yeah, you don't, you don't see that often. You don't see them all come together in such a way. I mean, the only players of the of, of that calibre that aren't in this team are going to be Mac and Toby, of that sort of level of achievement. Yeah. yeah. But to, to put all four of those players on the team, to have such a well-balanced team, two amazing SMGs, you've got Excellence and Tommy, yeah. two amazing ARs, two of the most accomplished ARs. You've got oh, yeah. Swanee and Gunchy. <laughs> but the thing is, it, it, it may just be that the new bloods have taken over. The newer players like Cloud, have just come into the scene and the old players just can't keep up with the, with the pace of change. Maybe, yep. Potentially, I mean, you look at Cloud, for example, Josh, mm -hmm. uh, Madcap, Madcap. Zanity, th those three. <laughs> Youngest when, like When they're on form, there's just, honest God, they are in touch with you. I mean, Zanity, yeah. last week, he just went ham. Josh, aka Mr. Bond, Daniel <laughs> Craiging a few times over there doing the 007 in S&D. Very unfortunate play, but he seems to have picked things up this weekend. Haven't actually spectated him properly yet. Mm -hmm. um, have you have you seen anything of? Uh, I have seen Josh, and he was still he was still performing about the same as I series. It wasn't really? it wasn't phenomenal. Wasn't great. Yeah, but well, lo looking over to uh, main stage now, Cloud mm -hmm. are actually two one up against Curse. against Curse. Now that's a big big game. Curse, they've come into this tournament as kind of just a, a more hidden entity, if anything else. You know, very high seed, but no one really knows much about them. They've been scrubbing. Yeah. Quite a lot, but still, we so weren't sure what to expect. So yes, uh, we're gonna almost ready to go on S and D slums. S and D slums is gonna be that map where whoever wins the attacking side is most likely to go away with that entire map. Yeah, we're agree. gonna see this probably go down to five five if both teams are playing the point right. But Benson gave Farico some very good advice. I did. Play like it's all or nothing on attack because at the end of the day, it, it is. is. After it is. that thirty second mark, there's almost no chance that you're gonna make to make something happen. The thing is though that is kind of worrying. We saw Prophecy last week actually go 5-0 down on this exact map mm -hmm. and came back and won it. I mean, on this map to go 5-0 down yeah. and still win, that's that is just ridiculous. Yeah. Six rounds back to back is just an amazing feat, especially on this map. And we are almost ready to go here. The players have started the map. Prophecy versus Rico Impact here in winner bracket round six. We have Slum Search and Destroy coming up as your second map. We're going to start off with Prophecy Kick it off with Gunchy. Gunchy, the player who hasn't been performing as well this land as he has before, but we're hoping to see big things from him. Benson, why don't you take it away? You know what? I want to see Parasite. Okay. I really want to see because he's I want to see. He's got a smoke up. grenade. He has a smoke grenade, which is promising for me. Because Did, is he listening? He, if he's listening to me, I'll be very, very happy. Let's have a look. He's just going to smoke in that middle of the map. So this is a, kind of why we're saying, you know, just try and smoke, go for the all or nothing, oh. and it could pay off, but unfortunately, really it's nothing get but hit kill. markers. So, so, but there you go. You can see the smoke on the left hand side. They have listened. Karma with the dual band sniper, exactly what I said to do. This is Farico playing at their best. Now, this is the interesting thing how quickly they adapted. Just one game down, and now they're doing stuff <laughs> like this. Oh, Parasite just getting taken out there by Swanee. That would have been absolutely phenomenal. Swanee almost picks up two, but Miracles takes him out. It's now all down to excellence. Possibly one of the best SFGs in the game. Picks up that kill to Miracles. Great kill there. Bomb still not down, and 45 seconds left in the round. We're going to see Excellence switch on over to Blue. No one's going to be pushing him over at Blue. The bomb's about to go down at B, and Excellence needs to go over towards the mid. He's actually going to sneak around behind them. If he manages to get this opening kill, he could have the round. Well, let's see if he can try and do it. You can see exactly how those free kill plays are setting up. Excellence not taking anything to chance now. He needs to take his time. 30 seconds left. Turns ah, the yeah, corner, yeah, taken down by killer. killer. That was always going to happen. That was actually an attacking round. Just won there by a team that doesn't even play like this I like to map. say, I should be coach. Just <laughs> going to throw that out there. <laughs> now, that was great advice that you gave them. 
play like it's all or nothing. Parasite there with that smoke out, nade out into the middle, rush straight in there, and that caught Prophecy off guard. They probably weren't expecting that. Definitely not, and that's going to give them the 1-0 advantage. Now they're going to be, <coughs> excuse me, on defense. You have to kind of favor them a little bit to, to go tune up because attack on this is so hard. And I just don't think Prophecy are going to have that same mentality of all or nothing. They're well, going to be very, got Gunchy. they're going to be methodical about this. Let's have a look at the bomb carrier. Who is actually carrying them off Prophecy? It's going to be excellence. Uh, you would expect it to be designated bomb carrier, and but he, he failed that knife there onto blue, actually taking shots. So now they know their general positions, and he's going to get EMP'd as a result of that. Just going to have to cycle No kills around. being exchanged in one minute already. We're already down to one minute in the round. 30 seconds gone, and after the 30 second mark, it's going to be very, very hard for Prophecy to make an entry onto the bomb site. Well, as soon as Excellence walks through there, he's going to get picked off by Parasite. He's got his hard scoping. I know exactly what he's doing because he was explaining it to me before. Mm -hmm. He's just hard scoping blue. Anyone that tries to cross, Excellence's only hope would to be what we saw him do at I-Series and crawl through. He knows Parasite is going to be aiming straight at him. Is he still going to risk it? I think gonna, he we're is. Gonna, we're going to approach that critical time now. Now, what you're going to see now is a free code player extend back over. I mean, immediately two oh. players. That's exactly, that's fantastic play from Parasite right there. All he did was just call it out. That's all he needed yep. to do. And that's going to leave Tommy now in a one versus four. Shuts down one. One versus three. 24 seconds left. Tommy with it all to do. This is not looking good for Tommy. Two in mid-map. One's going to be behind him coming from the, the A bomb site. 15 seconds left. It's going to be very, very hard. Tommy's just bombing it straight through. But with 10 seconds left, unless he gets a three-piece and they're all lined up, he just doesn't have time to do anything. Players have gone to the back of the map. Oh, and his shot's just lagging slightly behind Karma. Then one second left, and he's going to survive that round at least. Well, two not the most accurate sniping there from Tommy, but that's going to be 2-0 up to Fariko Impact. And they are looking very, very dominant force in the search and destroy slums. And now, third round is going to be starting. Let's see Killer with that kill cam at the end of that round. 2-0 to Fariko Impact here. And they are about to walk away with the search and destroy. As I said, that attacking round is so crucial. What you normally expect is the round to go one for one, one for one. But is Impact, are, sorry, are Impact going to do the same thing again? Let's have a look. Parasite. Oh, there's the smoke grenade. Oh, here comes the nade. No one on the entry. Getting shot from the side. No way. Almost Surely gets not. It. Oh, <laughs> Miracles there. Picks up the kill onto Gunchy. Tommy onto Miracles, however. Parasite needs to pick up this kill, and he probably is. There you go. Killer helps him out with that kill onto Tommy. The bomb will go down very shortly. And this, this aggressive is lot, play lot is what I love to see on this map. This is, this so is the only better. way you can win. It's the only way you can win these attacking rounds. Exactly that. And by doing that, they have that bomb down. It's three versus two in Fariko's favor. Pressure on Prophecy. And Parasite should pick off that kill there on Great Excellence. Job. Last guy is going to be on that far left-hand side, rotating towards middle. And we've actually got one Fariko player just sitting at the back because he knows that Parasite either has this or if he doesn't, then he's going to be able to come and help out later on. But... Uh, the interesting thing is, if Swanee does actually ever get left on a 1v1, he's going to jump straight on that bomb defuse, as we discussed before. Yep. But Let's here we go. Oh, out. does not manage to get that pistol kill. 3-0. This is almost unheard of in slums. Almost unheard of. Well, like I said, last week we saw Prophecy go 5-0 down on this exact map. And they managed to come back and actually win the map, so we can't write them out yet. But, you know, Impact already with that 1-0 lead. If it was to go 2-0, you have to favor them to take the series. The momentum that Impact will get is just too much. I, I would really love to see Prophecy step it up and just come back into the series. I know Acid would love to see it too, but <laughs> I don't know. I, I hope Prophecy haven't counted themselves out. That would be really, really bad if Prophecy have said, we can't do it. Because it, as soon as you've got that mentality, you probably are going to lose. But I'm hoping that Prophecy start to take a leaf out of Rico's book, starting to adapt and actually being more aggressive. But at the moment, they've actually given Gunchy, Gunchy, who isn't that aggressive right now, the bomb and actually Killer's going to get that opening frag onto Swanee. Yep, you can see Prophecy just trying to sneak across. Excellent, just trying to bait out a shot, I think, see if we can try and get some line of sight or vision on one of the Fariko players. Entry has been made into that A bomb site, however, Excellence is in and he sees the player on that corner. Shots have been fired and now they know where they are. I expect an EMP grenade to follow shortly. But no, maybe they're out of special grenades right now. We're going to see someone... Look at how blue. close that is in blue. Oh, so oh, close. oh no my way. God, he actually made the jump. He got through, but behind him... No, oh, oh, okay, excellent. turned on Miracles. Out miracles. Oh, the bomb no. could go down. This could be the entry for Prophecy into this game. Yeah, excellent. Just such a good SMG. Getting those shots there onto the player in the middle. But with three players alive, two only now. Now it's a 2v2, but they still have the bomb plant. Still at the slight advantage in this situation. Excellent set, picking up the kill onto Parasite. 1v2 situation. Who's it going to be? Killer. Oh, no, sorry. Still, it's a 2v2. Yep. It's oh, Karma wow. Killer Prophecy are actually up. working a man down right now. But Excellence, if anyone's going to do it, it's going to be Excellence. Excellence backing oh, off. My days. Very smart play by Excellence right there. Not challenging that. Well, they're going to know exactly where he is. 
Bomb is probably being defused right now. Managed to get one. Needs to check the bomb, but he's reloading. Is he defusing? He is. Gets Beautiful the kill. play there by Nick Ward. Excellence, the man himself, bringing Prophecy into this search and destroy. That was an attacking round. That's just what they needed to get back into this. And yep. now they need to tighten up their defense. Very true, but Freaker, they're looking a whole new team on this attacking side of SD slums. They are just being ruthlessly aggressive, which is what you need to do. And considering how methodically slow Prophecy were there, it worked out in their favor. They're going to need to rinse and repeat if they're going to come back into this game. Don't forget, it's 1-0-2 Freaker impact in the series, and currently 3-1 in this search and destroy. Here we go on board with Fariko Killer. Killer has that RCX decal. Probably not going to use it just yet, but to actually, this is going to be the first slow and methodical round for Fariko, it seems. It's looking that way. They've obviously won a few attacking rounds. Parasite is taking down Excellence. Parasite does open, however, with that kill. Prophecy evening it up. Tommy onto Miracles. Great <laughs> shot there by Killer onto Gunchy. Gunchy just not living up to those standards which you just associate with him. Players now going to rotate back from Prophecy. And wow. they've actually seen that. They've called it and they're very, very smart here. Rotating over towards the B-bomb site, which is open. Prophecy have just left that B-bomb site wide open. And Frico going to take full advantage. Such intelligent play from that Frico lineup. Karma takes down Tommy as well. One versus not even enough time to change over to Swanee. 4 one to Frico impact. And you know what? They are just the team to beat. And there we go, Fariko Parasite picking up that round, willing kill. Can, it's going to be 4-1 if I'm not mistaken. Yep. In this Search and Destroy, 4-1. Still an amazing scoreline for Search and Destroy Stums, which we expect to be 4-4 or 3-3 yep. or something at this point in time. So let's uh, let's switch on over. Hopefully Prophecy are going to do that aggressive thing. Let's see what happens. Nope, it looks like Tommy, who you expect to do the aggressive sort of play, is actually using an AR. Yep, Tommy renowned for being an amazing SMG when it comes to SMD. Such a powerful player. He has already taken down Killer, though, with a very, very nice line of sight. Great Did not shot. know about that myself, if I'm honest. Avoids the nade as well, and that's going to give Prophecy the early advantage. Now, let's see. Tommy on the right-hand side of the map, engaging someone over by that A-bomb site. Parasite onto Swanee 2v3 situation, or 3v3 now. 3v3, 3v3 situation. Yep. Parasite actually on a three-kill streak himself. Doing very well for his team in the search and destroy. Definitely taking Benson's advice on board. <laughs> That's advice to anyone who's going to play this map. Be aggressive on your attacks. Parasite almost getting the turn on there on Stormy. Tommy gets picked up anyway by Miracles. Gunchy though, picking up two. Nice play from Gunchy. He's left it as a one versus two situation. It's going to be enough to Karma. Bomb is going down. He is going to be directly behind Gunchy. Needs to pick up this kill. Does so. One versus one. Play it directly to his right outside blue. Now let's see. Karma. In blue, play ahead, glitching the bomb. Oh, oh. excellent. Get caught with his pants down, and Karma. Karma's being a little bit cheeky there with that shot to the Celebrating. head. Celebrating. You know. There we go. Making it 5 1 in this search and destroy. This impact really can't lose looks this. looks like an impact match. I, would, I did not expect that to happen. Impact cannot lose this, this SD. If they lose this SD, Prophecy are just going to have to go ham. Well, if Prophecy go ham, then they will be ham for the rest of this series. That's, yeah. the, prob that's yeah. the problem for Impact. They need to shut this down as soon as possible. Looking at the map list, next map we're going to see is going to be CTF Standoff? Is that no, sorry, CTF Raid. Sorry, yeah. Six, 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 Raid, yes. Yes, so it'll be CTF Raid. And CTF, it's an American game type. Yep. They are just so, so strong. But Prophecy are quite good with their CTF maps, I'm not going to lie. The thing the thing with Prophecy is because of the raw slaying ability, yep. if, you, if they cap a flag first, that's... that's Great, but and as soon as they can pull a flag, no one is stopping it unless you have score streaks. And it's so very hard to get all four of Prophecy players down. Yeah. The, it, when they are all playing on form, their individual skill just means that it's just so hard to win gunfights, get them. Excellent's going to make that opening frag there. Hey, on Parasite, the Miracles, onto Tommy, Karma, onto Excellence, and Swanee back onto Miracles, but boom. Karma gets the kill it. anyway. That's that going to be the six. end of that search and destroy. 6-1 one the scoreline. All I'm saying is, what percentage are Freako Impact giving me of their winnings? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying right now. Now, I, I think uh, that advice there, not only does it show that the advice was good, but it shows their ability to adapt. And, and at the end of the day, in, in this particular game of Call of Duty, I think being able to adapt is way more important than anything else. In other Call of Duties, it was all about practicing. It was all about the setups. But now, with the advent of, of things which competitive players haven't had before, with, the, with, with us having score streaks now, etc., uh, being able to adapt is so important, and I think that's what Frigo Impact have brought to this matchup. So, yeah.